All right, on to fluid mechanics. So remember, a fluid can be both water and also air. So fluid mechanics can affect all activities that we, we analyze. A few terms, mass, which is the quantity of matter in kilograms, you, and we've seen that in F equals ma. We have the density of an object, which is the mass per volume, and we saw, compare the density of a bowling ball versus a volleyball, right? Same volumes, very different densities. And now there's also this concept of specific weight, and that is basically the weight per volume. So density of, a, of an object is the same throughout space. The specific weight is dependent on which planet or which gravitational pull you're dealing with. And then there's viscosity, which is kind of like fluidity, right? So a, a fluid is very viscous. It changes shape um, as something that's the not viscous, which doesn't flow, and it's more of a solid. I always like to think of the, um, I forget if it's Terminator 2 or Terminator 3, but the man who would become like liquid and then reform, he was very viscous. All right, two types of flow, laminar flow and turbulent flow. Um, ideally, we want laminar flow, which is very smooth around the object, um, because we don't want this uh, turbulent layer of flow, which can actually affect motion. So here's a laminar layer of flow, and then it gets become becomes more turbulent. And you can think of turbulence on an airplane, right? It's bumpy, so it could, you know, shake you around. It takes away from the, the forward motion of the object. Another thing to keep in mind is fluids are a bunch of molecules bumping around each other. So I like to think of fluids as a very dense urban landscape. And you can imagine if you're walking through this population of people, and think of them as a fluid, but they're made up of mo molecules, and you can hit every individual person along the way, and each molecule may have an effect on you. Two types of forces that you're responsible for, the buoyant force and dynamic forces. So buoyancy is due to the immersion in a fluid, and it always acts upward, as opposed to a dynamic force, which is due to the relative motion in the fluid. And that's where we get drag forces and lift forces. And we'll talk about all three of these forces in the next video.